Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Dandy Echo, and I've got another dandy guide to Titanfall for you today. But it's going to be something special. We're going to be going over the Expedition DLC, which actually came out last week, but I had finals and all that other junk to cover up. So, I haven't been able to get around to it, and I only played my first game last Friday, I think. I can't, I'm not exactly sure on the date. But, we're going to be going over all of the maps. I managed to get footage of all of them, of Runoff, Swampland, and War Games. I'm going to tell you what I think of the maps, what I think these maps are best for, and how you should use these maps to best maximize your game. The layout for this video is going to be a little bit different, though, because unfortunately, I don't exactly know where all the spawns are, where the hard points are, or where all the evacuation points are, because I've only played on these maps a couple times. Uh, I don't know where the overhead views are, all that stuff. I've only played these maps on attrition. I haven't had very much time to go over them. Maybe in the future, I'll have more detailed guides. But for now, I can give you the loadouts I did for them, and I'm going to show you me using them in the gameplay. So these two are the loadouts that I use. Uh, this first one you're seeing, known affectionately as my tryhard pants, is what I use in the first two gameplays for runoff and swampland. It's the R101C with the HCOG and suppressor, the heavy rocket for taking out titans, the P2011, which I don't normally use, but I tried using it, and it's very effective, uh, active radar so I can see everything, aka my wall hacks, arc grenades, quick reload kit, and mini detector so I can kill as many grunts as I possibly can while also keeping an eye out for pilots. The mini detector is also very handy for having uh, for able to find pilots if you also have active radar, because you can see them through walls, look at your minimap, and decide whether something is a pilot or not. So this loadout is slightly more silly. It's uh, one of the sniper loadouts I came up with. Uh, it's <laughs> I was really only using it because I was trying to unlock stuff for the Kraber, because now that I'm a G1050, most of what I have left to do is just to unlock everything, so I'll have it. And the Kraber is one of the last weapons I have to go through to unlock all the stuff. So that's why I was using that, but it's also very, very effective. Unfortunately, you don't get to see me use it against pilots a lot. Uh, may I have a better gameplay later I might show you. But most of what you're going to be seeing is the auto pistol, which is very, very effective at taking out pilots if you can play like me. And I also have the archer on this one, but the difference on this class from my other one is that rather than use active radar, I use cloak so that I can hide from titans and sometimes pilots. Because the ver first rule of sniping is don't let people know where you are, and I follow that to the T. And I also use arc mines. Just in case I do decide to post up somewhere, I can throw them down and that'll they'll let me know if someone's sneaking up behind me and also disorient them if they are. And now that we've gone over all the loadouts, we're going to transition over to some gameplay, which I think you guys are going to be very happy with. Okay, so this what you're seeing here is my very, very first game at Expedition. And I'm not going to ruin it for you, but I do very well. And uh, this map is Runoff. It's... Uh, not the one I wanted to get on. Honestly, I wanted to get on War Games first because I was most excited about that one. But I was pleasantly surprised at this map. One thing, the first thing I actually noticed about it was that it's very open and there are very, very long lines of sight. So that's why I'm using the carbine here. I actually used a carbine because I didn't know uh, what kind of terrain I'd be on and what kind of map this was. So carbine's good for everything, so you run that. But it actually turns out to be very, very good at this map because this is a very medium range map. I hesitate to say that this could be a map that I snipe on, but it might be. I haven't gotten a chance to try it out yet. I may go back and take the longbow and go back on to run off and see if I can't use these long lines of sight and pick off grunts or maybe even pilots. I do get some pretty long range kills in this gameplay, but most of it is uh, close or medium range. Mostly medium range uh, with my R101. Although once I get in my Titan, that's I'm going to spend the rest of the game in the Titan because I just... Uh, I just don't die. I spoiled it for you. I went flawless in this game. My first game back. It was pretty amazing. But, uh, active radar is also very handy here because there are so many levels. This is probably the most vertical map in the game. You see you have those channels down at the bottom, and you also have these multi-story buildings going throughout. So being able to see through the walls and predict where people are going to be, and actually just knowing where they're going to be, is extremely handy to know. That's probably the best thing that's going to keep you alive in this map. Aside from, you know, being in a Titan. And I never fell down into those canals and actually got into fights down there. Everyone pretty much stays onto the upper levels inside the buildings and on the walkways. Even the Titans. Uh, I only saw a couple Titans get down into the water and I never actually went down there myself. So I feel like the majority of the fighting is going to be 
on the upper walkways and not down in the channel. Uh, in terms of parkour, this map is kind of so-so. There aren't because the, um, everything is so spaced out, there are only a few parkour routes you can take. You can see a lot of the kills I got earlier as a pilot were people just running around. There wasn't a lot of wall running and getting up into vantage points because there is, isn't a lot of that in this map. But for some reason, I don't mind. Um, I didn't mind in, the, in this game, anyways. Um, probably because you could still figure out this game. This map um, is one that... In another, another, I can't put it in any other words, but it makes sense. It's pretty easy to figure out. Uh, it's sort of three lane ish. You can tell where people are going to be, and you can make predictions and coordinate with people pretty easily. So that's what this has got going for. This is, in contrast, the colony, which is a complete f fuster cluck, and <laughs> just really bad. I prefer maps that I can make sense of and navigate around with very little difficulty and having to get worried about shot getting shot in the back all the time. I think I'm going to really like this map. I haven't gotten a chance to play on it again yet, though hopefully I will once I get all the the rest of the Dandy Clan back together and we can go pub stomping again. But I think this is going to be one of my more favorite maps, um, just because it's very easy to figure out. I'm not sure how this is going to be in uh, in Last Titan Standing. I don't think it's going to be very good for that, just because it is so simple. For Last Titan Standing, you need a bit more complex routes in order to have interesting gameplay between the Titans. For this, it's just three very long lines of sight where you can where people just camp back in the back with rail guns, and it's very boring. So I don't think I'm gonna like LTS, but for attrition, it's very <coughs> sorry I had some throat that was weird. But for attrition, it is in fact very good, and I highly recommend that you try to get into runoff. If they ha if respawn put puts a map vote in here at some point in the future. You should always vote for runoff, because that's just one of the better maps in this game. And also, I don't have it in this gameplay, but if you have the triple threat, you can probably get a lot of pilots because they're in the once Titans get out, they stay in those buildings and they don't come out. So if you can lob grenades in there up until those walkways, they're hosed and there's nothing they can do about it. You see, I'm using the 40 mil, and it's a little bit harder to get the pilots, but I'm still able to do it. And that's what makes killing them really easy. Uh, cluster missile is also really handy for doing that. You basically you're gonna want anything on your Titan that can clear out rooms, and if you play it smart like I did here, you can stay in your Titan for pretty much the entire game, and pilots won't be able to touch you unless, of course, they get their Titans and they bust you out. But hey, if you're watching this video and you're you playing it right, what are the odds of that happening? Am I right? So, now that just about wraps up the guide to runoff. Hopefully I'll have more gameplay for you guys to see in the future. This is the only uh, recording I have of runoff because this is the only game I played on it. But I will get you guys more in the future. But for now, it's just about time for us to move on to our next map, which is Swampland. So Swampland is the one map that uh, Respawn and EA tried to hype a lot because this is supposed to be the standout map of the DLC. This is one where most of the lore was. Uh, this is the one that was going to make this DLC that people are going to really love because it's so cool. You know, you're running on trees and whatnot. And for once, I kind of ag agree. This is a very good map and a very fun map. Uh, you'll see later on, I actually do some of the tree running that they showed off in the stream. I did watch the launch stream for Expedition. And yeah, they played it on the X-Bone, which is kind of disappointing to me. I really wish that they emphasized PC support more because I really think this game is meant to be played on PC. Let's be honest. I cannot imagine playing this game with sticks and triggers and buttons. God, that must that must just be a nightmare for everyone who's watching and does play on X-Bone or 360. Oh God, and I pity you guys who play on 360. I would really encourage you guys, if you really enjoy it on console, get it for PC because it is amazing. The parkour and the movement and the aiming is just so much easier. You will never want to go back to playing on console anything again. But I'm getting off topic. I should not be talking about that. Uh, let's get back to Swampland. This is indeed a very interesting map, and I do like it a lot. Uh, unfortunately, the game I did join into was uh, about a third of the way over, so I didn't get that long to experience it. But what I did experience, it made a big impression, and I did enjoy it a lot. I was really afraid that, because I played Call of Duty Ghosts as well, I was afraid it was going to be like Prison Break. I thought, oh god, it's all green, it's all monotone, people are going to be hiding in trees and bushes, and it's going to be awful. 
be able to just throw arc mines and satchels everywhere and it'll be hell. But I forgot Titanfall plays completely different from Call of Duty. I fell into my own trap and didn't forgot that these are not the same game at all. So people don't play this game in the same way, the same, you know, can't be getting a ghillie suit, hide in a bush kind of thing. There are no bush wookies on this map, which is probably what makes it great. I really wanted this to be a hit, and I'm so glad it is. <laughs> as long as Respawn doesn't put ghillie suits in this game, this map is going to be a standout. Now, on the stream that they had, they were playing Capture the Flag. I just played Attrition, and even without any objectives to go for and no park straight parkour routes, I actually think this map is better because you can be free and there's no best set routes to take. You just hop around and kill people. And that's probably more of a mode thing, but I really think the maps in Titanfall are designed for attrition, and that's carried over to the DLC. Uh, War, War Games is going to be a little bit different, but I'll explain to that once we get into that gameplay. But I really, I do like this map. This is, uh, once I get a chance to play on it again, I'll probably have a more solid opinion, but first impressions are very good. I really like this game, and it's also very balanced between Titans and Pilots. Runoff seemed more uh, keen towards uh, pilot play than Titan play, just because Titan play just seemed a lot simpler, and there wasn't really a whole lot of variety, but on Swampland, there's trees you can duck and cover, there's a changes in elevation, but it's not so crazy that, you know, you won't be able to figure it out. There's changes in elevation, so you get to go above people, see the crit hit spots easier, and you can duck between trees. It's, it's gonna make using uh, your slaved warheads and your multi-target a bit harder, so you probably see people running salvo rocket, or I mean, sorry, rocket salvo or cluster missile a lot more. That's because those will be easier to shoot through the trees and lock on. Well, no, you don't have to lock on to actually, which is why it's easier to use. Uh, you'll also probably see people using uh, the 40 mil just because, since the lines of sight are broken up so much by the trees, people are just going to want to do as much damage as quickly as possible. So weapons like the chain gun or the triple threat, or maybe even the even the arc cannon are not going to be as used here as they are in other maps uh, just because the trees change this map up so much and you saw earlier I was able to parkour around them and it's really fun I, I didn't think jumping between the trees would be that easy or that effective I got around that map super fast and if I even bothered to play capture the flag it would I would probably just be capping and flaps like it's nobody's business like it's going out of style but I hate capture the flag in this game and that's a topic probably I'll save for another day uh, you see, I think I'm going to get one more Titan in this gameplay. and But that's what struck me about this map uh, before, most of all, was how uh, well they integrated the trees. I was really afraid that they were going to muck up the trees and they were just going to be an obstruction thing. That they were there just for decoration, but they're actually extremely useful. I didn't get to explore uh, the entire map, like this area where the evac was. I didn't know uh, what this was. But I'm sure it's used at some point, probably for hard point. And but that's all I've got for this game, on this map. So now we're going to move into the one I was most excited for, and I probably have the strongest opinion on, and that is War Games. Now this gameplay is where you're going to get to see me use my goofy class. Uh, most it's mostly the Kraber, although I don't get to use the Kraber on pilots at all. I don't think all of my pistol. I mean, sorry, all of my pilot kills are with the auto pistol. Which is another lesson that I'll probably make a sniping video, because I do consider myself to be pretty savvy at sniping in this game. Uh, in no other game do I consider myself a sniper, except in Titanfall, where I can snipe pretty effectively, especially once I have the DMR. But that's, that's a tip for you. Uh, never be afraid to switch to your sidearm and make sure it's your favorite one. In my case, I just run around with the auto pistol. I'm going to recommend something different to you guys for this map. Uh, I was just goofing around with the sniper, because I was trying to unlock stuff and also troll these guys into oblivion. <laughs> but, um, weapons are kind of tough to nail down for this map, and I should probably explain um, my thoughts on this map and what kind of combat you're going to run into. Um, I kind this is probably my least favorite map out of the whole DLC, which is, <laughs> uh, that's kind of not as damning as you might think, considering both the other maps are really, really good. But I was kind of disappointed in this map. I thought, since they said they combined aspects from uh, Rise, Angel City, and what was the other one? God, I can't remember. What was the third map that they said? Airbase. That was the one. They said Airbase. And I thought, man, that's perfect. They took the 
three best maps in the game, except Demeter. Oh, well. They took three of some of the best maps in the game and put it onto one man. I don't see what could go wrong with this. And unfortunately, there are a few aspects of this map design that I think are kind of mucked up. Not so bad that it's irredeemable, but it does it kind of spoil the fun for me a little bit. Uh, number one is that it's very divisive in the the combat. You see, for there's only a few places for the Titans to go. There's this one ring road that goes around the map, and that's the only places that's the only place the Titans can go. There's no middle lane, there's no other lanes, there's just that ring road that they can go around. And that really makes for frankly kind of boring Titan combat. There's yeah, there's some uh, things that block the line of sight intermittently, but it's pretty one-dimensional uh, Titan combat, so that's kind of boring. And uh, the pilots, to make it worse, the pilots are kept separate from them. And these interior areas and all the wall running areas. Now, that kind of defeats the purpose of Titanfall. If you're keeping the Titan combat and the pilot combat separate from each other, you know, then why have them in the game together? I was uh, kind of surprised at that. Because, no, on the other maps, like Airbase and Rise and Angel City... The combat is pretty well integrated. Yeah, and you'll see there that big pit. I don't know why that pit is there. It's a death trap. Don't fall into it. And that really breaks up the flow. I feel like if they were, took that interior area and made an area for Titans to go through, then this map would be so much better. But as it is now, it's just too fuster clucky uh, for me to wrap my head around. And also, this map is big. It may be having a lot of walls in it, but it is still physically very large and that's a problem because you know titanfall is only 6v6 and yeah some of the other maps are big but they have long lines of sight like maps like boneyard or fracture or demeter they have long lines of sight and it doesn't take that long to get back into pilot on pilot combat this one it really does um i played a game before this a couple games before this but i was using the hemlock and i was really just running around trying to find people. I spent most of my time looking for other pilots, and <laughs> that shouldn't have been hard. I mean, I had the active radar. I could see through walls. I could see everything, and mini detector. It should not have taken me so long to find people to fight, and yet it did. I got lucky in this game, and that I was trying really, really hard to find people, and I didn't have a suppressed gun, so other people were finding me as well. Uh, but I was, I was really disappointed in that. I was really hoping that this map would combine aspects that I liked about Airbase, about Rise, about Angel City. But it doesn't, and it makes me a little sad. Um, this map is good, I guess. I don't think it's going to be good for Last Titan standing at all, at all, just because there's only those two sides to the map that Titans can go through. And if you go down one lane, that's going to be watched by somebody with a railgun or a 40 mil. You're not getting down. And also, this uh, Titan section combat, I kind of goofed up. I was just playing bad. That was the only reason I lost my Titan so quickly. But it doesn't matter, because once I get out, I know I'm never going to run into a Titan as a pilot, so I don't have to worry about them. But that's that's kind of boring, really. I mean, on Angel City, you run into Titans as pilots all the time. And on Airbase. And on Rise. So, I, I was, I'm kind of surprised that taking all these maps and throwing them together, that that was the result. I'm kind of disappointed, and I'm not asking them to fix the map. You know, obviously they're not going to do that. That would take way too much time, and hopefully they're busy uh, fixing stuff uh, that's wrong in the game. Probably just some you know, bugs and stuff. Optimizing it, and uh, working on the next DLC, which is what Respawn should be doing. But, I would have made... I have some changes that I would make to this map. I would make it so that there's a, a central lane for Titans to go through, that Titans can go through, and also pilots. Just to keep them mixed together, because right now they're very separate. And I would also make it a bit smaller and a lot more condensed, so that pilots find each other more. And don't have to run around like chickens with their heads caught off, just slaying minions until they happen to stumble upon uh, another pilot. Although, that said, um, for pilot combat, there's kind of a big variety, though you're going to want close quarter stuff. Because like I explained, this map is um, a lot of alleyways that you'll be in, so probably the car or the 101 is going to be your best bet. I would lean towards a car, 
is because you'll be wall running a lot, and you're going to need to hit fire. So a car with a counterweight, you can run suppressor too if you want, but if you do that, that's probably uh, your best bet. And I'm using an ant smart pistol here because I was trying to get unlocks for it too, and I just happened to have the cards and trying to get rid of them because I think, I think frankly that ant smart pistols are kind of cheating, so I don't use them um, unless I really have to, or unless I'm going for what I'm doing now and trying to unlock stuff. I think I only get one more pilot kill, maybe two more pilot kills, one after this. So just one more pilot kill after this so you guys don't have to yell at me and call me a cheater or a hacker. But those are my thoughts on all of the Expedition DLC. I will hopefully be able to do more detailed reviews once I have info on the hard points and the spawns and the evacs. Uh, I'll try to get into some Last Titan standing matches for these, but right now I don't think they're in the LTS uh, mode rotation. I'll have to hop in the variety pack and pray that I don't get thrown out to capture the flag or pilot hunter. Whew! Um, anyways, those are my thoughts on the map. I uh, thank you all very much for watching, and I will see you in the next guide, which will, I promise you, be corporate. So, this is Dandy Echo saying, have a good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Goodbye.